Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. We are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. We feature camper tours, interviews with builders, campground reviews, and we offer camping tips. If that's your cup of tea, then please subscribe. Hi everyone. So this video is going to be a little different. Actually, we've never done this before. I am touring a park model camper. For those of you who don't know what that is, a park model is a trailer it's meant to kind of like be put at a campground and it's not really designed to move around. It usually has an A-frame roof rather than a flat roof. So anyway, this is my brother's camper. It's probably almost 30 years old. It's in great shape and he let me and Rick stay down there last week and we had a great time and I thought, you know, since we're into touring campers and stuff, let me show you how the other side live. Now this may be a little more glamping than what you're used to. So this is the front of his trailer. He's got some beautiful flowers. He's got a fire ring out here. We sit out here for fires. We were out here last night. Look at these gorgeous flowers. I watered them and we just had some rain. So the side of the trailer down here, I'll walk back here. And usually the campers are close to each other, but right now nobody's here. So back in here, he built a little patio and he's got his bench and back there is, like I said, no neighbors, just marshes. So he likes that. He's got a little chimney. Here's the back of the trailer. And out here, he's got his, I don't know, his surfboard fishing rods down here. Um, these are all glass windows because we've got air conditioning or you can lift, pull the windows up if it's cooler. Say hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Rick's been clamping. This park model is about 30 years old, actually. So it's, the park model's usually got the vaulted ceilings and you don't drive a park model around. He bought this brand new about 30 years ago. Um, he can have the kitchen table in here. He moved it out. He added a porch on here. So it's in pretty good shape for 30 years old. So, well, there's his liquor. So we, that made us happy. But one of the really unique things about this camper is it has two full bathrooms which I've never seen before. So, like I said, there are literally two full bathrooms in here. I'll show you the other one in a minute. So, this is the back bedroom. And I really like this. If you look out the windows, it just goes right out to the marshes. And then about a mile out there is the bay. So, it's nice and quiet and peaceful. So this is the one room and walk down this way. Uh, this bed opens up to a couch bed, double bed. Here's the other bedroom. This is in the front. And again, there's a double bed here. So, I mean, you could sleep six in here easy. And then, so back in here is the other bathroom with a shower. And like I said, it's two full bathrooms. So I've never seen that in a trailer. And out here, like I said, there you can see the vaulted roof. Um, two patio doors here they've got curtains on them now but you can see the two patio doors the windows are constantly smeared down here from the humidity 
and he built this porch. So there's another double bed there. And all our stuff is just laying around here because we're packing up and getting ready to go. Um, and this is the other end of the porch. So back here, he's he's got his little table there. So they eat out here now. And he's got a little heater because sometimes it gets chilly. One of the highlights about having a camper in New Jersey is New Jersey is the brunt of everyone's jokes, but New Jersey actually has very nice beaches. Years ago, when the real estate market went up, the shore houses went up astronomical. So most people cannot afford a shore house. However, some people can afford to buy a camper and they keep it down at a campsite for the whole season. So we have many, many, many of those campgrounds down by the New Jersey shore. So some of the highlights of of uh, a camper down the shore is, you know, the price. It's you, it's affordable that you can, you know, have a place down the shore. Uh, may not be right on the beach, but I think my brother's place is six miles from the beach. My previous husband and I, before he passed away, we had a seasonal camper. We had it for about 10 years and it was great. I mean, it you know, one of the things I loved about it was everything was there. We didn't have to pack anything. We just went down there and turned on the hot water heater and we had left clothes and stuff there. The refrigerator was left on. So it was real easy in terms of that. Um, so I did that for, like I said, about 10 years. Um, when he passed away, I just, I, I didn't want to keep it anymore. So I sold it. Actually, I think I kind of really gave it away, but I, I just, I couldn't keep it. Um, so I got rid of it. So I feel like I had the best of both worlds. I know what it's like to have a seasonal site for 10 years and be down the shore. We had a boat, you know, it, it was great. The kids were younger. We, we enjoyed it all. Now I kind of like going to, to, you know, different places and exploring a little bit. Fine with that because our camper's small. I would not want to tow a great big camper. I really wouldn't. Well, anyway, that's it with the park model. I wanted you guys to see the other side of it. Maybe you are thinking about taking your camper and putting it on a seasonal site. Um, you know, the prices vary depending on where you're at. It does have its perks. It's There's pluses on one hand about everything being there. You don't have gas. You don't have to move it around. Um, but there's pluses on the other side too. So it depends on what really fits your needs. But anyway, I wanted to show that side of it of camping or glamping as Rick calls it. Um, it's not so much roughing it, but it's it's a nice getaway. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?